Eh, första halvlek eh, tycker jag vi, vi börjar matchen väldigt bra. Jag var lite orolig för starten men vi börjar matchen väldigt, väldigt bra. Vi vågade hålla bollen, vi låg rätt i försvarsspel. Tappa något en period. Eh, deras defensiva mittfältar kom inte åt riktigt. Vi valde att droppa med forward lite grann men eh, kom till dem lite bättre där. Tycker jag är en jämn fortsatt sen. <hör> Ante gör ju en fantastisk frispark. Precis innan pausvilan som kom väldigt lägligt. Andra halvlek tycker jag vi börjar också väldigt bra igen. Det är väldigt lugnt känns det som. Vi håller ända fram till 60 under minuten, 65 där det samma med straffsparken. Efter straffsparken så hade vi en jobbig period. Underbart, Magnus rädda oss i det läget och rädda oss flera andra gånger. Eh, ser man ändå till chanser totalt sett så har vi kunder punktera matchen. Vi har 100% på Kenny första, vi har även med Bruno och Tobbe i, i andra halvlek. Så chansmässigt, 100% chanser så har vi säkert lika många som, som eh, Hammarby. Även om de har ett bra tryck sista 20. Så eh, givetvis, Magnus är riktigt bra och... Antes underbara frispark som har vi gör matchen för oss. Mm. Okay. Um, first of all, congratulations to Young Chile for for winning the game. I think you know their goalie had an outstanding performance. You know, backup goalie saving a penalty kick, coming up with some of the saves he did, you know, was was spectacular. Um, in terms of my team's performance, you know, I'm I'm deeply disappointed that. We didn't win this game, you know, and I think it's it comes down to you know mental errors in the game, you know, giving away free kicks when we shouldn't, you know, right before halftime, giving up a goal at a terrible time, in my opinion, and you know after that I would say you know the first 15 minutes of the second half we were unsettled and we, and we didn't play our game and we were, you know, a lot of a lot of silly mistakes, a lot of positional mistakes, a lot of, you know, just second guessing themselves and, you know. We, you know, there's a reason why we can play the type of football we play. We have good players, and it's just about believing in themselves and believing that we can get over this hump when things don't go well in the match for us. And there's times when it's not going to go well, and it's how we respond. And I, and I would say I was I was disappointed with that response in the first part of the second half. You know, and as the game goes on, yeah, we have enough chances to tie the game. But I told the guys, you know, tying this game isn't good enough. It's really not. We should win this game. Um, you know, taking nothing away from our opponent, we should win this game. And I'm disappointed in that. I'm disappointed that that we lost the game. And you know, that's how it goes. Thank you. Thank you. Frågor. Um, how come the uh, Castro didn't play at all today? Is this is sick. Castro Tello. Castro is recovering from an illness, and I felt that. You know, with the busy week schedule coming up, it was too early to, to test him. And, you know, he'll be contributing later in the week, and we wanted to make sure he's at full fitness. We, you know, we have, including this match, we have three important matches in a short period of time. You didn't choose to use all of your uh, substitutions today? No. Only two? Yes. Um, did, didn't you feel that anyone could uh, come in with more energy, or was it the best place? No, I didn't. Ja, han har väldigt ont i hälsenan då, så att det var ju, han var på ma ultrajud igår och det visar inte att han kan bli värre utan han kan spela med smärtan men det blir mycket värre i halvlek. Så han var tvungen att gå och röra på sig i halvlek. Det var precis vad han, han klarade av, det var precis max vi fick ut av honom. Ja. Och sen ville vi stoppa det och så satt Ante som en offensiv mittfält på deras. Så det var matchplanen det var så om vi skulle leda matchen så att det var precis som vi ville. Mm. Nej. Han gjorde illa sig i träningen i torsdags igen så att han, han var med så, som en peppa killarna var med runt. Det var därför han var på bänk. Ni har vunnit här, ni har bra fasit här på Söderstadion nu. Mm. 
Ja, det verkar så. Jag var inte med förra året. Men det var inte många, många av de här var inte med heller. Så att, men, är det något som man känner? Nej, utan vi är inne i en väldigt stark period nu. Det, det, det är lite där grejer man säger att vi skulle vinna i Landskrona. Här hade vi kanske varit glada för att vi gjort. Va? Men jag sa till killarna efter Landskrona-matchen, där får vi tillbaka en annan gång. Nu är det två matcher efter så får vi tillbaka en. Falkenberg var inget, det där ska vi bara vinna, vi är klart mycket bättre än dem. Men, men vi är inne i en väldigt stark period här, så att innan dem så hade vi sju matcher utan förlust, innan Landskrona matchen. Så att det, vi fick tillbaka den här matchen istället, jag kunde ha gått hur som helst. Greg, du har 8 points at home so far, and 13 away. Yep. Uh, why is that so good? Um, it's not good enough, you know, to be quite honest. It's not, you know, we, you know, our goal obviously was to be a lot stronger at home, and I'm disappointed in that. You know, I think that, you know, some of it has to do with us, some of it has to do with the opponent, but regardless, we have to be better. And, you know, for the support we get, the, the, the amazing support that we get, I expect better results at home. No, I don't. I mean, no, I think I, not necessarily. I think our, the margins are very thin at home. You know, teams stay very compact and they play off counter. And if they get one goal, then it's even harder. You know, if we don't get that first goal, if we don't open them up, it's very, very difficult. And you saw today, you know, I mean, today's a little bit different exa example because I think we had enough chances to tie the game up. You know, but like I said, you know, teams stay very compact. They wait for their one chance, you know, and if they get that chance, it's it's a difficult game for us, and that's what's been happening, to be quite honest. And you know, we have to look at it, and we have to do better. You know, I think, I think, um, you know, we're, we're not satisfied with that. Excuse me, we're one. Okay. Must go to my brother's wedding. Okay. Today. Okay, enjoy. Huh? Con congratulations, there, huh? You got him a great wedding gift, yeah, right? He's gonna love that. Did you see it again on replay? I didn't see it again. I didn't see the replay, but uh, as I saw it, it was how a free kick. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, that's all part of the game, right? So let's take that out of it. I mean, referees do their best; they try their hardest, and it's it's still it's still the fact that if we go back and look at that situation, how we even came in a situation like that, to me wasn't correct you know so the decision that happens you know some go for you in a season some go against you and that's that's life especially in football there's a, a transfer period coming up when is that are you satisfied with the current squad or do you think you will bring any new players um you know together with gustav grauers our sports chef we're gonna we're gonna look at the situation carefully and and you know look to to possibly boost our squad you know we feel like we have limited numbers you know if you look at our bench today we had 17 guys on the bench two of them were 17 years old one was you know so we we know that we could strengthen our squad and i think we're just going to look at it carefully and, and try to get the right players if any do you have any opinions on what, what kind of players good ones good ones <laughs> okay but uh Defenders, midfielders, or attackers? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I would say, you know, I would say that we're, again, we're looking at the situation and we're looking at what's available and what we need, and then, you know, and then we'll we'll act appropriately. All right. Sorry that I couldn't be more specific.